As usual, we start with the vocabulary, and you may have noticed a difficult word in the unit title, how seeds are scattered. Well, what does scatter mean? Scatter means to throw or drop objects over an area, usually a wide area. Think about your room, right? If you come home and you take off your clothes, you know, you change from your school clothes to your home comfortable clothes, and how do you do it? Do you just throw your shirt over there, maybe your pants over there, your belt over there? You scatter your clothes all over the room, okay? Hopefully, don't do that. Mom doesn't like it, right? So, but to scatter is to throw objects or things in a wide area. Not very neatly. Like the picture shows, we see seeds are just tossed on the ground randomly. Okay. Next, we have blow. <sighs> right? How strong can you blow? If you're young, you can blow really strongly. Usually, if you have a birthday cake, you have many candles on your cake and you blow them out. We believe that if you blow out all the candles in one blow, your wish will come true. So, to blow is to make something move by a current of air. Of course, we blow, but it, blowing doesn't mean that a person or animal has to do it. It could just happen in nature naturally from the wind, right? If there's a strong wind, the wind blows. And we have a video to show what's going on here. Also, this is very important because as you can see, the boy, he's blowing on a flower. And I just want to point this out before we watch the video. What kind of flower is that? That is called a dan, oops, sorry. D-A-N, dandelion. It's not a lion, it's a dandelion. A dandelion is that type of flower. Let's watch a video of the dandelion being blown in the wind. Here we go. There's the dandelion. Let's watch as the wind blows it. Okay, here we go. There's the wind. The wind comes along and blows it. Now what happened? All these little things here, oh, actually you see these little pieces here? Those are seeds, right? The wind comes along and blows the dandelion seeds and they are scattered, okay? And that's how the plant reproduces itself because new plants will grow. By the way, it's very interesting that people will say dandelions, you can predict the weather by looking at the dandelion. If it's nice weather, the dandelion has a nice ball shape like we saw at the beginning of the video. But if, it's, if there's high humidity, it's going to rain, then the petals of the dandelion close up over the flower. So if you see that, you say, oh, it's going to rain. Interesting. Okay. Next word is land. Now, if something is flying in the air, like a dandelion seed that's blowing in the wind, after a while the wind will stop or get weaker and the dandelion seed will come down and touch back onto land. Onto land and then we say that it lands. So land is a noun, right? It's the, the, the ground that you stand on. But land is also a verb because we use it to say that something that was flying comes back to the ground. So to come to the ground after moving in the air, to come back to the ground, to land. Okay. Next we have ripe. Ripe is an important word, especially if you're going to eat fruit or other types of plants or vegetables, right? Ripe. Ripe means that it is fully grown and ready to eat. So you don't want to eat an unripe apple. Ugh, that doesn't taste very good. You want to eat a ripe apple or a ripe orange or ripe corn. Whatever the plant is that you eat, it should be ripe. That means it's fully grown and it is ready to eat. Our next word is stick. Now, stick has a couple of different meanings. Of course, you can say, I have a stick, right? You have a tree branch and you wave it around. That's a noun, but we're not talking about that definition here. Stick here 
is a verb. It's a verb in this definition. It means for one object to become attached to another. And you can see in this picture, oh, you pr you're probably familiar with this situation. You walk in the woods or you walk in a grassy area where there's a lot of plants and after you go through you look down at your pants or your socks especially and you see these little things that are sticking to your socks or your pants and of course that's what it means to stick to to attach to something tape is sticky right if you want to stick two things together use a piece of tape if or glue glue is also sticky so stick can be used as a noun it can be used as a verb it can also be used as an adjective sticky it is sticky glue is sticky tape is sticky parts of plants are sticky they will stick to you okay next Drop. Drop, of course, just means to let something fall or, or to fall by itself. Of course, it's a verb. If you just let go of something, it will drop. Of course, when the earlier example we looked at with the dandelion seeds, they're flying in the wind. The wind is blowing, so the dandelion seed is, is flying in the air. What happens when the wind stops? Whoop, the dandelion seed drops to the ground. It lands, okay? So to drop means to fall from the air, or fall from a, a high place down to a lower place. It can mean to land if the object winds up on the ground, okay? So there's different kinds of landings. There's good landings and not so good landings. Okay, anyway, to drop. Burr. Now, we talked about stick. Remember when we saw that picture for stick? We saw those little pieces of the plant that sticks to your socks. They're really hard to get out, aren't they? Well, what part of the plant is that? We call that a burr. Burr. Burr are little hooks on a seed that can stick to things. And of course, many plants will do this. They'll have the little tiny hooks, very small, but if you look at them carefully, especially with a magnifying glass, you can see that the little parts of the uh, part of the plant, they're like little hooks, and those hooks grab on to your clothing, and they really like socks, but also pants, and they'll grab on to those and stick with you as you move. So burr is little hooks on a seed that can stick to things and those are the things that are on your socks or your pants and your shoes okay fur well first we had burr now we have fur er the ending sound of r burr fur in this case fur of course is the hair that covers some animals Okay, uh, I've got kind of hairy arms, but don't call this fur, right? It's not that thick. I don't have that much hair. But if it's a really a lot of hair growing really close together and you cannot see the skin, we call that fur. Look at your dog. Maybe you have a pet dog or a cat or a mouse. That, if you look at the animal, they have very thick hair growing out of their skin. We call that fur. Fur, it's the hair that covers some animals. Not all animals, but many animals, especially mammals, have fur, but not humans. We don't have fur, so don't, don't say that about a human being. It's not nice. Okay, <laughs> anyway, good. Okay, so those are our words for the lesson. Lesson two, how seeds are scattered. Scatter. To throw or drop objects over an area. Blow. To make something move by a current of air. Land. To come to the ground after moving in the air. Ripe. Fully grown and ready to eat. Stick. For one object to become attached to another. Drop. To fall or to let something fall. 
Burr. Little hooks on a seed that can stick to things. Fur. The hair that covers some animals.